Hi guys, today I'll uh, show you Toyota PS 2014 how to replace the cap and filter. So this is generation 3 and let's go inside now. Okay, first of all you need to open the glove box. When you open the glove box, make sure on your left hand side, right, if you look here, there's a shark absorber like a strip, right? If you move a little bit, you need to take this out. Then you need to press your left side gently inside and then right side and your glow box comes out like this. Once your glow box is out, as you can see, there's a two clips. So this is the place where your uh, cabin filter is. That's the blower motor underneath, right? So all you need to do, you need to press, uh, touch this, take your, and nicely take your cabin filter out. Okay, so look, uh, look, guys. This is the one, the one I took out. How dirty that is. That's the new one from Toyota. As you can feel the difference when I'm going to put this in. After that, I'll turn the heaters on. I'll feel the fresh air inside. Okay, so before you put the new filters inside, one thing you need to make sure it's in the right way. So if you look at the filter, it clearly shows up. So it should go straight in into this tray. Like this. Once the filter's inside, Okay, so that's where your fil filter is supposed to be inside. That's the alignment. Make sure it stays on the right hand side. I do want to put in the middle. It's still the same. It doesn't really make any difference. All right, but I will put on the right side because this side, there's a line. And now it's the same way. If you look, this corner should go into a hole in the hair. Right, in here. So I'm going to show you. Look. I'm going to click this in and then up here press it that's it it's click that means your job is done okay so to put this glove box back on so make sure your these corners these edges these own slippies it should hold on both sides right and this is the uh, location of your uh, uh, hydraulic stirch so i'm going to show you what to do next so as I've got the USB cables, I'm going to put inside here. So after that, I'm going to put these corners up here and nicely. And when they are there, they fit in. Then if you look on this side, okay, then come back on this side. You need to do your hydraulic strut click back on. When it's clicked back on, so all you need to do, you need to just push slightly inside and that's it and your job's done so i've got the usb cables coming in here that's all there you go hope you guys like this video if you like it please like and share thank you very much